Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial for Tom Petty's Free Fall In in the style of John Mayer. Now there is a pretty special occasion going on here because I recently hit a 100,000 subscriber count on this YouTube channel and I just wanted to thank you so much everybody for supporting me that's why I decided to record a video message and then we'll get to the piano which we're gonna do right now again super thanks for this 100,000 mark it's kind of unbelievable actually but let's start learning this awesome song by the late Tom Petty it's gonna sound a little something like this And then we're continuing like that and it's actually super simple in the sense of that it's three chords repeating throughout the entire tune so might be a little difficult in a sense of patterns and breaking up these chords maybe in the feel of playing but the actual chords is just very simple the first chord is an F over A so this is a regular F chord we play an A in the bass or a third in the bass and then I like to dress it up or use the first inversion first of all I like to dress it up as happens on that John Mayer recording as well with a 9 over there then we're gonna go to a B flat chord I like to use this 1 and 5 voicing oh yeah for the first chord I play the actual F over there as well with my left hand Second chord is a B flat, so I play a root, a B flat, and then a five and F in the left hand. The right hand will play the triad, B flat, D, and F, and then I use the nine to add patterns with that to make it flowing and to get closer to those guitar parts. And then you go bum bum dum. So that's B flat again. F again and to a C so that's the third chord a C so we have F B flat B flat F C that's basically all there is to it this is just repeated throughout the entire song except for the bridge this is kind of a little different feel I'll show you that in a second then we have to add those patterns and basically that's just a approach a feel that you have to have and then you break those notes up in that feel so what I do is so yes yeah, so there's just a couple of techniques you know because those guitars do we want to sort of get closer to that so we have to add rhythm by breaking up those chords but note that I'm not doing the exact same thing all the time as these guitarists are also improvising with their plucking and adding some extras over here and there. That's the, you know, the this is the approach and I tell you how to have the main concept of approaching this piece, but then it's kind of a matter of improvisation and adding your own feel to it, so. So I'm kind of drumming on the piano as is a very common way of approaching. In the end, it's all about which notes do you play on which beats and that creates the part as is the, the fact with guitars who do plucks or strums and also all keyboard parts, actually all music is built from rhythm in the end. So on what beat do you play those notes? Well, it's And if you can approach that, then you're good. So I'm showing you a couple of techniques. That works very good. Ta -da. Yeah, so just drum a little bit. And then if you find something that is melodically attractive, like this, I like this very much. I think I stole that actually just from exactly what John Mayer plays. Go 
flat to the B flat so da, um, And then obviously the phrasing is super important as well to get actually to this part that it flows out. Not every note has to be equally loud, but that's a matter of getting used to playing with patterns and chords. I'm gonna go from the start. That's, an, that's a thing that is very distinct. You hear that a lot. So that's an, actually a C sus4 over there. So you add that F as being a so and just walk down that chord. That's the lick that I just showed you. And that's very kind of kind of juicy actually. He plays a four and that's the, the second guitarist, if I'm not mistaken, who plays that lick, but it's pretty distinct as well. Yeah, you can just alternate with that. I actually don't know what the exact part is, but it works pretty well, right? Something similar like that. So dig deeper, if you want to go deeper, you can use the F major scale obviously over here. And then this note is kind of juicy from a Mixolydian scale, or a, you could see it as a sus4 over the B flat. So you can just play this over the entire thing as mentioned. Good girl loves and loves. <laughs> she's a good girl She's crazy about Elvis Loves horses And a boyfriend too You see, when I sing, keep it a little bearer And then when it's instrumental You can go a little crazy with these things that I just showed you And then you have another verse And you get to the chorus Which is free You hear when there is a silence in the vocal, that's the moment where you can play an extra fill, right? Lick, whatever. And then we have free falling now, free falling now, free falling now, free falling now. Fall fall right? So that's the same three chords, only you have you don't have that bum dum bum, which is distinct for the rest of the tune. Guys, short and sweet, just go and fiddle around with these three chords in these inversions. Obviously, you're free to add extras. Something like that, you know, just fiddle around. This is a matter of getting to know your chords, getting to know and be comfortable with playing patterns, playing in key. Adding a lick here and there, and that is the exact approach that we take at Piano Couture. So if you're interested in learning how to play like that, then maybe consider joining our membership. Maybe consider becoming a premium member. And then that was it for this tutorial. I hope that you liked it, guys. If you did, then please hit the thumbs up, like it, share it, leave a comment. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.